What is going on YouTube? I am Prepper Princess, the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you're interested in purchasing my book, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. It is also available in paperback form. All right, so today I wanna to talk about a whole bunch of things that I don't buy that actually nobody needs to buy, but almost everyone does anyway, thinking that it's a convenience, but it's really the exact opposite of a convenience. You guys are gonna be paying more attention to the background than you are to me. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the first thing that I don't buy as an extreme cheapskate, and that is any sort of disposable paper product. That is paper towels, napkins, paper plates, cups, solo cups, stuff like that. Um, for <laughs> napkins, simply washcloths. You can buy these like 10 for $2. Um, and I use those on, you know, I use them for, I also have special uh, separate dinner napkins um, and I'll use the dinner napkins and I use these to wipe up just like you would a paper towel. And I have a little sprayer uh, with homemade soap, which is just one part Dawn, 10 parts water. Sometimes I'll use a little bit of vinegar in there, but it's the same thing. I mean, you're using a paper towel, you throw it in the trash can. You're using a washcloth, you're throwing it in the washing machine. So to me, where I throw it is not an inconvenience to me. So it's just something that I use. And even when Nala has potty problems, potty mistakes, she's still a puppy, she's still in training. Um, I will use a, not a washcloth, but a little bit of a larger, I guess it's a washcloth, larger washcloth instead of like a towel. I'll clean it up, throwing it, throw it in the washing machine and I'll use it again for the next time. Um, oh, and also for paper towels. So I used to use paper towels for cleaning my car windows. They're really easy to use on any type of window. My gosh. I switched, switched to micro, my, microfiber cloths. These were like at Lowe's, I think I got like 50 or 100 for like nine dollars forever ago and you can rewash them and reuse them and they don't they're they're streakless they don't leave any streaks so uh i just go with that instead of the paper towels it's a one-time nine dollar purchase instead of a once a, a every couple of weeks nine dollar purchase um second thing is single serve anything single serve what do i mean by single serve is single serve oatmeal. They put them in the individual packs for you. They pre-measure pre them. That is a one-time thing. I'll just buy a larger container and divvy, up, divvy it up into smaller portions. Potato chips. I do not buy single serve potato chips. I will buy a large bag, divvy it up into Ziploc bags. One large bag will make 10 small bags at, at, at least. Um, can't really think of anything else. Uh, ranch dressing. I don't buy ranch dressing anymore. Um, I don't even buy dressing. I mix ketchup and mayonnaise and I make my own Thousand Island dressing. But you guys get the idea. Anything that's single serve, I do not buy it. Uh, number three is going to be memberships. So I don't have a gym membership. Gym membership will cost you $50 a month. I typically use the gym for treadmill, elliptical, steam sauna. I have my own steam sauna and I gave up the electrical, the elliptical and the treadmill and I have a Zumba DVD right here under my DVD player. I do Zumba instead um, and I get just as much of a good workout without the cost. The Zumba DVDs were like $15 10 years ago and I've been using them ever since. The sauna was a one-time cost of about $200 and that's i've had it for several months so for that's four months worth of a gym membership that i get to use forever so any sort of membership uh, the next one is going to be subscriptions i don't have any sort of subscriptions now i have free tv i have a roku smart tv if you have a tv that is not a smart tv you can buy a roku box the link will be in the description box you can get them for 20 25 dollars and you can download a bazillion different apps that, and each app has a thousands of movies. So I have no need for subscriptions. And I actually learned through having a Roku box that other services 
the majority of their movies, like if you take Netflix, for instance, they're going to have a few of their own things. They have like the Orange is New Black, Stranger Things, uh, a couple of series that they specifically produced for the Netflix channel. But all of the other movies on Netflix are movies that you can get for free um, on the free apps that are available on a Roku. Same thing with like Amazon Prime. So Amber, Amber, Amazon Prime membership has free movies. You take a look at these free movies and there's a few of them that are made specifically for Amazon. The only thing I can think of is the one with Chris Pratt, Tomorrow War. The Tomorrow War was made specifically for Amazon. But then you've got hundreds of other movies and those hundreds of other movies are available for free. So why would I pay for Amazon um, if I can get those movies for free? And, and there's also the free shipping. The majority of stuff that you buy on Amazon is free shipping anyway. If you have a purchase of over, I believe it's like $35. Um, with Amazon Prime, you get faster shipping, but how much are you really in a hurry to get those products? I mean, they get to us pretty fast anyway. Instead of like one to two day shipping, I get maybe three to five day shipping. And there's nothing on, nothing to purchase that I have not been living without. So I can live without it for like an extra two or three days. So it's just something that I'm not interested in purchasing. Um, I do have Disney Plus, which was a gift from a Patreon member of mine. And if somebody is going to gift me a membership, I'm going to use it to the fullest extent. So I'm always watching all of the Marvel stuff on there. I love the new Willow series. I love the old Willow movies. Um, there's a whole bunch of Disney stuff out there that is really great, um, but I would not pay for the membership. Um, that's just not something that I would do. The next thing, or subscription, I'm sorry. Uh, the next thing is books. So I used to have a pretty admirable book collection. I mean, seriously. So um, after having all of these books, I found out that there is this crazy thing. It's like a storage facility for books. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. Um, it's called the library. And like every single town in America has these crazy storage facilities. So this place, um, you know, they contacted me and they said, hey, we'll store all of your books for free. Uh, you can come and check them out anytime you want um, and you can keep them for like a month and then, you know, come back and then check them out again if you want. Um, and the crazy thing is that they'll also store all of your DVDs. So for free, they don't even charge you like to store all this stuff. So you can take all of your books, all your DVDs, and you can store them there. And what they do is they store other people's books and DVDs too. So you can go and use their books and DVDs and you can do it for free. It's crazy. So I don't have to take up all of this space on my shelving um, with all of these books and DVDs that I'm gonna be reading because I can just walk two blocks and I get to go and get free DVDs and books. It's this craziest thing. I know, right? Like the book and DVD storage facility. <laughs> it's crazy that everybody's got one and nobody uses it. <clears throat> so I don't buy books and I don't buy DVDs anymore. Um, if I want to rent a movie, I'll just go online, put a hold on it, pick it up the next day and it's available. So I don't need to buy those things. And those things really add up. Um, by the way, buy my book. <laughs> Okay, um, the next thing is pretty much entertainment. Um, I don't pay for entertainment. You know what's funny? When I made this list, I had to think of the last movie that I saw in a theater. You know what it was? It was that Melissa McCarthy movie where she was a Girl Scout leader. Um, and I remember there was a fight scene in the streets between two Girl Scout troops where they were selling cookies. And that was the last movie that I saw at the movie theater. Um, the funny thing is, is that we have these things in our house that are like pretty much entertainment theaters in our houses that uh, we can, you know, if we want to, we can see those brand new movies and borrow them for like five ninety nine, dollars uh, and we get, but we get to watch it like 10 times. I mean, you go to the movie, you watch it once um, and you're done and they, can, they boot you out. But here, you know, you can rent it for 48 hours and I can watch it like 10, 15 times if I want to. Um, over and over and over again. And uh, it's really crazy how we have these free entertainment things in our houses. Um, pretty much any entertainment. Now, this is a really big one. 
I've been posting in my community board about things that I don't, I mean, I, I don't usually post about them. Now, there's always zero cost or one cost entertainment that I am really into. The zero cost is hiking, biking, swimming, uh, snorkeling. What is it? Uh, I have my metal detecting. And a lot of community places, community parks now have uh, horseshoes. That one with, it's kind of like bowling, but it's a uh, bocce ball. They have a uh, racquetball, basketball, they have soccer, <laughs> baseball, all of these different courts that you can use for free. You can use them for free. They're absolutely free. Now, those are the things that are on the surface. Then there's board games, things you can do at home. A lot of people like cornhole, board games. There's these cool bubble body bubbles that I want to buy. And I want to have a like a sumo wrestling competition with my brother uh, one of these days. <laughs> but they're these giant body bubbles that you put on and then you like you fight people with them. <laughs> so I, I really, really think that that would be a fun family tradition that I think that I'm going to start here pretty soon. But there's other things, too. I used to buy a fishing license every year. Uh, but I was finding that I was only going three or four times a year, you know, catching enough fish. You know, they say there's so much mercury in the fish and you can only eat it so often. So I didn't eat it very often. So um, I found out that you can, there are like two or three or four or five, depending on where you live, fishing days throughout the year. And they always happen to be on like a weekend during the, uh, the height of the fishing season. So I stopped buying a fishing license. There's also, people talk about free zoo days. Like you can go to the zoo. People pay $50 to go to the zoo, but there's these free days that they specify once a month, once a season, once a year, once every six months, depending on where you live, where you can go to the zoo for free. For free, you don't have to pay for it. Uh, museums. Um, museums have them maybe once a month, once a season, once every six months, once a year. And you could, there are so many museums that participate in this free museum day that, I mean, why would I pay to go to a museum if I can go for free if I just plan ahead a little bit, do a little bit of research, Google free museums in my area and a whole bunch of them will pop up right now. Uh, we've, well, not right now, but um, we've got like 25, 20, eight museums that will allow you to go to the their museum for free for free so why pay for it when you don't have to when it comes to vacations um what i like to do is i save up my credit cards rewards points so i have a lot of expenses and bills that i have to pay just like you guys uh gas sewer water property tax uh gasoline electric you know, food bill, groceries, whatever it is. And I will accumulate all of those things. And when I feel like it, I can go on a vacation for free. My most recent purchase that I used with credit cards reward, rewards points, I saved up almost all of my points over a two year period. And I was able to purchase this new iPhone 14 that has 4K options so that I can make you guys better, better videos. Cost me nothing except for credit cards rewards points using money I was going to spend anyway. I don't recommend that to everyone because 80% of people who use credit cards do not pay off the balance every month. I'm not sure if that's my viewers, but that's 80%. So I can understand why other people say, you know, don't use credit cards because eight out of 10 people will not use them correctly. Um, so vacations, I went to Universal Studios with my family over the summer for free. It cost me gas. It cost me gas to go to Universal Studios. I went for free. It was kind of awesome. Um, the next one is going to be new technology. So aside from the iPhone 14 that I got for free, uh, I purchased my technology used um, or not the newest model or refurbished. So for instance, this 4K smart TV thingy above me was $348 um, because I bought it refurbished. It was a refurbished model, works perfectly, nothing wrong with it, back to factory specifications. So, um, and it was delivered right to my door. I can't beat that. Um, the laptop that I have is at least, at least five, six years old. Um, and I think that it was not the new technology when I purchased it. I think it was like $250 
and I just make really careful not to download any viruses and stuff like that. Um, and I make sure, you know, to keep the cookies where I want to keep them and all that stuff. I have had no problems except for the fact that it's so old that the battery no longer holds anything. So if the electricity goes out, there it goes. <laughs> so the battery, the battery won't hold anything. But other than that, I use it as a desktop computer. It's old technology. Uh, the next one is bottled water or bottled drinks. As you know, I make my own coffee at home using my 25 cent thrift store travel mug. And I use, I make my own cold brew coffee. Cold brew coffee is super expensive at the store. It's like seven, eight dollars. Um, I buy one six pack of root beer per year and I don't drink the root beer. The root beer is actually to make recipes like pulled pork. So I don't even buy soda to drink it. Um, and I do have a couple sodas on hand because I find them. You guys have seen me. I find beers and sodas on my walks because I walk so often. Right now I've got some sort of alcoholic iced tea, raspberry iced tea and a Sprite that I found for free. Um, the Sprite I'll keep on hand in case I get nauseous. I'll, I'll sip on that Sprite and hopefully it'll make me feel better. The raspberry iced tea, I'll give it to a guest. Um, also, um, I moved into this house and it has fruit trees. I've got uh, orange, orange, lemon, three apple, two Bing cherries. I, I just planted some grapes uh, and a partridge in a pear tree. So um, I can make my own orange juice, my own lemonade, my own grape juice. And I don't, I, and tea, tea is super, super cheap. Just put a couple bags in the sun. Um, so my drinks are free and I have a really great variety, but I pretty much just stick to coffee and water. Coffee and water are my drinks of choice. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Okay, doubles of anything, doubles. So what do I mean by doubles? So <clears throat> most people, like for instance, people will have bedding. So they'll have their bedding that goes on their bed and then the extra set that they keep in the closet so that when this one's being washed, they can put that one on the bed. I don't have doubles of bedding. So when, I, when I'm washing my bedding, I wash it, I dry it and I put it back on my bed the same day. So I'm not, and I'm not sleeping during the time that I'm doing laundry. So I just put it back on the bed. Um, and I used to have not only doubles, I had triples and quadruples. I'm like, well, I like to mix and match things and things to go along with other things. And I, you know, stuff like that. I, I guess I got through that phase because I just don't want that extra stuff on hand. I think I have a couple extra pillowcases um, because I have extra pillows, but I mean, that's it. I, I don't I don't have double sets of anything. And the same thing goes for like my clothing. A lot of people buy a lot of similar clothes. So I have a winter wardrobe and a summer wardrobe. Now my winter wardrobe, I'm almost, except for right now, because I'm wearing my heated vest because it's so darn cold and I've got it on high. Um, but but I have plaid shirts, but they're all totally different colors because I don't want duplicates or similars of that same uh, shirt. And then when it comes to pants, I only we'll we'll get into my pants later. Um, so any doubles. Um, number ten. Now this is something I would recommend to every teenager. If you're a teacher out there and you teach teenagers. <laughs> No alcohol, cigarettes, recreational or prescription drugs. That is one way to, I think in this day and age, we all know that the homeless people that we see have alcohol and drug problems um, or mental illnesses where they require prescription drugs, but they don't take them. Um, but fortunately, I am healthy mentally and physically, so I don't have to take any prescription drugs but do everything you can to make it so that you never have to. Meaning um, exercise, um, eat smaller portions, drink water instead of soda, um, you know, move your body, you know, stuff, simple stuff like that, that, that your doctor tells you, eat less and exercise more. Uh, start young, start young. Don't ever start smoking or drinking. Okay, if you guys know me, you know I hate drinking, but I am an ex-smoker and I smoked for 
almost 20 years. <coughs> that was ironic. Almost 20 years. Um, and I still have um, effects from the smoking. Sometimes, sometimes I'm short of breath and it might kill me someday. You know, I could get lung cancer from smoking 10 years ago. Uh, it's something that lingers with you and it can't be fixed. So, and it also brings your insurance rates up and, you know, hospital and doctor visits in the future, um, you know, and, and it can actually inhibit your life in so many ways. And the same goes with alcohol. Alcohol is so expensive. And if you are, are drinking alcohol to try to get away from the pressures of life or, uh, you're so stressed out and you need a way to relax or you're smoking smoking the I don't know if I can say it on here but if you're smoking marijuana um, to try to get away from the world um, that's not the right way to do it find somebody to talk to and work through your emotions because all that's gonna do is push away the emotions and then when you can't afford the alcohol or drugs anymore those those emotions are all going to build up and you're going to have to deal with them later but you're going to have to deal with them um, with the withdrawal symptoms and lack of money or health care because that's what happens so um, i would tell any child that your bank account and your body is going to be much better if you don't drink do drugs or smoke um okay so let's go with a Oh, well, here's a bonus. I don't purchase tattoos, eyelashes, weaves, manicures, or pedicures. I do my own haircuts. Um, I pretty much just style with water. Um, I do my own, I, well, I, I just, I take care of my nails, you know. I just don't bite them and I clean the cuticles and sometimes I'll put some Aragon oil on there and stuff like that. The eyelashes, tattoos, and weaves, those just never interested me. I also don't do anything with my eyebrows. That's just the way they look. Um, they're kind of, they, 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 whatever, I don't care. As long as I don't have a unibrow, I'm good. Um, and then the bonus one here is uh, non-seasonal fruits and vegetables. So as I stated, I've got three apples, lemon. Okay, so I have oranges, lemons, three different kinds of apples. I'm going to be growing grapes there. I'm going to add more, but, um, so fruits are not an issue for me. Um, I get my fruit for free in season. Um, and also my, because I go fishing on the free fishing days, I don't ever have to buy fish. And then, uh, I do have to buy vegetables, but in the correct season, I will grow. I, right now I have three artichoke plants and in the right season I grow a lot of zucchini and those pretty much are my vegetables for like anywhere between four or six months a year but I also purchase carrots onions and potatoes uh, because those are so cheap that it's it's actually cheaper to buy them than it is for me to grow them um, but I really stick to super basic stuff super basic vegetables and oh and I also grow uh, Oh my gosh, spinach. That's right, spinach? Yes, I also grow spinach. So, and my brother has chickens, so I get eggs for free. So that's a huge way that I keep my food bill down. Um, but, the, but, but I don't buy a lot of food. <laughs> I only eat one meal a day anyway, and now I no longer eat carbs. So it's just like, okay, vegetables and meat. There you have it. So um, there are huge amounts of ways that you can live for cheaper, um, thinking outside the box so that you don't have to spend as much money or spend as little as humanly possible. And, you know, we get all the, you know, us, us extreme cheapskates do all the exact same things that you do. We just do them, uh, we just do them differently. Um, you know, you have a brand new car that you paid 35000 for that you have a payment on where you're actually paying $43,000 for your $35,000 car. I drive a 25-year-old $4,000 car that doesn't even have 90,000 miles on it yet. So um, those, those vehicles are out there and, and mine was $4,000 cash. All right, folks. Wow, 25 minutes. How did that happen? Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, 
do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out. How's it going? You guys doing good? You're looking good. You're looking good. Puppies, puppies. <laughs>